scheduled for three rounds in the welterweight division. Please welcome first fighting out of the blue corner, representing Jitsu Life, Rito! Similar to our first fight, due to the fact that both of these fighters are going to have a 0-0 record, um, there will be no head strikes on the ground and there will be no kicking to the head on the feet. I believe that rule was changed after 2012-2013, correct? Yeah, I believe we thought where we were still able to strike, strike to the head. head. Yep. And, uh, yeah, and now, sure. please welcome fighting out of the red corner, representing underdog. Because I was just thinking of my first, that was, you know, that was a long time ago, in 2012. And that's kind of how it was, with striking on the ground was still allowed. It's all one giant experiment, right? It pretty much is, so yeah. Mike, Mike is uh, Mike Mazzulli. He uh, heads up the commission here. He is the commission. Yeah. Um, he, he he exercises that uh, experiment quite often. You want to see uh, the latest and greatest? You come down to Mohegan to see what they are allowing, what they're paying attention to. Tony fighting out of uh, Underdog in Hartford, very well-known place. Russell Leak, the owner, has produced multiple fighters that have made it into the UFC. I'm sure Tony will be uh, conditioned and uh, prepared for this fight. Seems to be calm, ready to go. Yeah, he was just back in the hallway with uh, Russ. They were keeping him warm, keeping him focused. They got some tough guys down there. He Great. looks focused. Kevin the Ruth McDonald, third man in the ring. Both these guys making their amateur debuts. Tony doing a nice job of constantly fainting, moving the head side to side, up and down. You can tell Reed's, Reed's trying to figure out how to unload some punches. He needs to Hold keep back that, a little bit. He needs to keep that lead hand up if he's just going to walk straight in without any head movement. He needs to keep that lead hand up. Hands are down by Reed. That's that's not a good look. If Tony can find that range, catch him on the way in, he could catch him easily with that overhand right, right on that left side. And Tony touches him with the left jab. But then again, maybe this is how he's most comfortable. Distance management is one of the most important qualities in mixed martial arts that's not immediately evident. If somebody's got huge kicks, fast punches, you can see it. Distance management is just a little bit more subtle, and Tony is showing terrific distance management here. Yeah, he's long when he's throwing those body punches. Yeah, he just put together a chain, Tony did. Cut an angle great. Reed's got an answer. Reed can't just walk straight in with his hands down. He got clipped right there. I don't think he knows. Got to get your hands up. Got to get your hands up. Oh, oh that was that's it. Over. It's over. Right on the button. There's a flash. I think that first one hurt him. A little cloudy, and that second one definitely uh, clipped him right on the button. And Great Kevin, job by Tony. Reed's a warrior. He wanted to keep going, but that was absolutely a beautiful stoppage by Kevin the Ref McDonald for two green fighters. Two fighters having their debut. Perfect stoppage. Couldn't agree more. Feet came out from underneath. Reed, and uh, that's all you need to see. He'll get back in there and fight again. Yep. Learn a little, progress, fix some things in the gym. And again, I said it, you know, right before you got here, I was saying a little bit of constructive criticism towards the fighters and saying it's a lot easier to sit, you know, for anybody on your couch, in a chair, even here cage side and being two people that have competed, three people that have competed. It's a lot different when you're in there. It is. Third person, it seems easy, you know, keep your hands up, find your range, but when you're in there and you're trying to do it, it is difficult.
and as weird as it sounds, it's like the sparring, you know? First couple of rounds of spar, you get hit, you gotta kinda get used to it. It's the same thing in a fight, you gotta get used to someone's punches, feel the contact, and then kind of adjust from there. Well, if this is a sport of mileage, and uh, the damage starts today, yep. you know, you wanna progress. Ladies and gentlemen, with one minute and 45 seconds into round number one, here is your winner, via TKO, Anthony Afaeli! Congrats to Team Underdog, Tony Afaeli. Anthony, awesome job. Anybody tell you you look like a young Mike Tyson? <laughs> nah, I never got that. I think so. Listen, you hit like him too. Um, he had his hands down pretty low. You took advantage of that. He was like swinging for the fences. I know he wanted to knock you out. You did a good job staying away. And then you took your time and, uh, I mean, that fight was definitely over. The plan was just to stay patient, keep it simple. And when the opening is there, take advantage of it. Awesome job, Anthony Affaelli. Underdog, awesome job.